What's going on guys, Jake here, back with another video. Today I'm just going to give you a quick overview of my first impressions of Copenhagen Business School as a university and what it's kind of like to study and go here. So I've taken a, a section of clips today that I filmed throughout the past kind of two weeks of me going around uni and I'm going to be doing kind of this voiceover commentary explaining to you guys what I do, what I see, and then I'm going to break it down, maybe some intro bits showing you some of my more day-to-day -day routine. I'm thinking about doing a full day in the life video of where I kind of go around and vlog me going to my lectures, vlog what I'm getting for lunch, show you really the nitty gritty. But this video is just a more of an overview of the facilities, what my initial thoughts are about studying here, anything which I think might be relevant to anyone coming to study CBS, especially an exchange student. As being on exchange, I have a slightly different perspective than if you study here full time because our schedules differ a bit. We do different things, live in different areas. So everything is a little bit subjective. Right now I'm literally just packing to go to Stockholm for the weekend, which I know you guys will see in a video. So I have lots of videos coming out, about three I'm in the process of filming, but it's quite a long process here because I don't have the best equipment and obviously I have uni in the week, so I'm only filming on the weekends and editing in my downtime. So I'm trying my best to get some of these videos out for you guys because there's so much here to do and see in Copenhagen. I really want to show you why it's one of the nicest and happiest places in the world to live and also the university because I know that's what a lot of you are here for checking out whether you should go on exchange and honestly what is it like living abroad when you've never lived somewhere before so let's get straight into this video jump in go around some of the university and I'll show you guys what my life is like right now so as you guys see I'm starting off this little clip of me on the metro I actually don't own a bike yet if you live in Copenhagen I would recommend getting a bike it's only about <clears throat> 150 krona a month which isn't a lot it's about six dollars to a krona or six krona to a dollar or eight pounds so this is just as you see in the other video a little overview of the outside of the campus what it looks like as you can see I filmed this on a few different days so it kind of jumps around a bit but I just wanted to give you guys a little introduction to what the actual outside of the uni it's very situated in the downtown area so this is the main kind of bit of the campus just a very very quick little shot of just what it looks like on the day to day as you see walking through there's a, a cafe on the campus called cafe nexus that actually turns into a club every so often every thursday so that's a really good place you see a lecture theatre sponsored by deloitte pretty interesting the library is state of the art really nice Nothing bad to say about the library, great place to study, great place to, loads of books are available, really easy to use. This is one of the other campuses, not the main campus, this is the Douglas Hove campus, as you see, looks quite different, but it's quite good. And this is one of the uh, canteens at Douglas, as you see, pretty well equipped, pretty nice, not too shabby to be honest. So yeah, I know that was a little bit brief. Really, I just kind of squidged it all in in literally about two minutes because I don't want to keep these videos too long for you guys. I want you to be able to get the key information from them pretty quickly. So now I'm just going to do a really quick overview of just some other general bits I want to point out. There is a lot more at the main campus. There is a really big cafe and a really big canteen area which I want to show you in my day of the life video because I didn't want to show too much in this video because I really wanted to do the day in the life where I can show you guys everything and go through and describe it to you while I'm there because a lot of the stuff is easy to show when I'm there in person. I just haven't had a chance to put all those clips together yet but that should be coming out in the next week. Um, quickly as a point of some of the books, this is one of the books from the library I have you can see it says CBS library a lot of people here I found actually buy their books I'm not a huge fan of this I'd recommend against it I found a lot of the books you can access on the web the library and this is about the only book I think I need maybe one other one later in the semester but um, yeah I just took it out from the library for free I can have it up for a month and then I can renew it up to three times that's like three months at a time so honestly I would recommend if you can avoid buying books like don't waste your money I know you Americans love to spend your money on books it's like bloody expensive but avoiding it at all costs is what I go for other things I mentioned the cafe nexus I'm gonna have a video on that when it turns into a club night literally it's crazy a club in the middle of Copenhagen business school all with the other students it's really really special some great views DJ booth really cheapest place to get alcohol if because it's kind of expensive out here not gonna lie but that will be coming as a separate video to show off the Nexus Cafe because I think that's spectacular enough to deserve its own little section and not be thrown into another video. 
Other things that are worth mentioning about the business school, the actual modules here are completely different. If you're from the UK like me, or probably the USA, you're used to having one semester and you choose four and it goes the whole semester. In this school, it's not like that at all. It's a, you can choose, they split the semester into two halves. So I know some people who are doing all quarter three, so they have loads and loads of lessons now, more lectures and stuff, then they all end, have some exams, and they're done for like two months, the semester's still going. For me, I spaced mine out, so I have like one, one, two in the beginning, well two, three in the beginning, and one slash two in the end. This way, I'm here for the whole year, I think I end on June 13th, so I have a lot long of university left, it's only February 21st when I'm recording this, so we have quite a while to go. But, so it's a very different system, and the exams here are crazy different. So I have a four hour written exam. And then instead of having one paper, which they set you on a long time, I have a 72 hour window to write a 10 page paper. So I'm really not looking forward to that. But I mean, that's just how they do it here. It's a very top business school. I think Copenhagen is like literally top five business schools in the world if you're looking for that. Not, no, not in the world, in Europe. Top five business school in Europe. But still, it can't be, it's still crazy. So um, people work really hard to get in here. So it's not, Un, uh, what's the word? It's not unsurprising that the workload is quite hard. To be honest, I know a lot of the Danish people do a lot of the readings. I haven't been doing the most of the reading. I probably should be getting on that a bit more. But I mean, that's something I'll be working on future because at the moment my workload is not too strong. I'm quite ahead. I'm pretty good at doing my work when I get set it, so it's not too bad. But I would recommend staying on top of the readings. I'm doing uh, Spanish here, which is interesting, Latin America studies, so that's pretty difficult. Um, you can take a language here, it's a bit of a tricky thing to get through, get approved in your coordinator and your system, but I mean, I managed to do it, so I thought, studying Spanish in Denmark, why not, you know? It's a bit of an interesting, interesting thing. I think that's pretty much covered the main points of the university, in my main first impressions. Overall, I think it's a pretty good place to study. I'm liking it. My only two major things is expensive, expensive, expensive. The Danish krona isn't worth a lot, and also stuff here just costs a buttload, honestly. So you'll be draining through your bank account quite quickly, so take that in advance. If you want to go to Copenhagen, save up before you come, live that student life, make sure you stick to a budget, or you will be going home broke as anything. So that is one major, major thing here, living as a student. Accommodation is pretty expensive. I've done the accommodation tour, kind of, so if you want to check that out in the last video, you can last video whatever it will be somewhere on the screen at the end i'm not sure where it pops up it's pretty random uh, if you like this video give it a like if you want to see my day in the life video and also i have two more videos stockholm this weekend literally i'm leaving in about three four hours for that so i gotta go pack do my washing and then i also have another video which is i don't remember too many videos on the works anyway i have so much coming out so hit subscribe keep following me we're going to be banging out the content for you guys. If you're interested in exchange, if you're interested in Copenhagen, travel vlogs, university, let me know. Hit me with any questions about CBS in the comments. If you're an exchange student looking to go exchange, let me know. I'll get back to you because I have the information. I've been here for like a month now, so I'm getting pretty used to everything. But if there's anything else you guys would like to know or any videos in particular, then check it out. But yeah, if you want to see some more of the campus, then day in the life vlog coming out next friday so that will be the whole university every campus every angle every single bit so if you really want to get a full feel for uni make sure you subscribe and check that out anyway this has been a great video hope you guys are doing good hope this helps some of you and if not i mean let me know give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down if it wasn't the most helpful video i'm just trying to get some information out there for you guys because there's such little on the internet really to do with exchange to do with copenhagen business school there's only one other person who does videos in english so i'm just trying to make it a bit more bright broad stuff uh broad broader just information for you guys so if anything yeah just hit me with a comment and thank you guys for watching